Hello, my name is Jim Reed. Welcome to Tech Talk. Today we're going to talk about why airplanes are able to fly. Well, one might say it's because they have wings, and this is right. But it's not exactly that simple of a subject, so let's take a closer look. When you look at a wing, in general, you will note that they have more curve on the top of the wing than on the bottom of the wing. This means that the air has a bit further distance to travel when going over the top of the wing. When the air travels a bit further, the speed goes up a bit and the pressure comes down a bit. This means there's a higher pressure under the wing, which lifts the airplane from the ground. By the way, race cars use the same effect, but they turn the wing upside down. And this is to provide a downforce that holds them to the track. We said that in general, aircraft wings have more curvature on the top surface than on the bottom surface, but not in this case. This is what's called a symmetric wing, which means there's the same curve on the top as on the bottom, which is the case for all the master class aerobatic aircraft. So with the same curve top and bottom, how does this wing fly? Let's have a look. So a symmetric wing is able to fly because of what we call an angle of attack. So that means that the wing has a small angle compared to the approaching air. And as far as the air knows, this means again that the top surface has a bit more curve than the bottom surface, creating the lift, allowing the airplane to fly. This is also what allows the aircraft to fly upside down. When the pilot rolls inverted, he holds the nose up a bit, and then there is a slight angle of attack again between the wing and the approaching air. So you are correct. Airplanes can fly because they have wings.